back in April of 2020, I was interviewing at a job, actually interviewing for a contract at the university where I'm teaching at as an adjunct professor. And I made a mistake, a negotiation mistake. You gotta remember April 2020, we're talking the beginning of the pandemic. Obviously a lot of bad news, right? We have to work remotely. And obviously the contract didn't pay nearly as much as before. And um, I uh, got upset that my pay had been cut so much that I started to brag about some accomplishments I had made at the beginning of the pandemic, right? Talking about some machine learning concepts that I've been practicing on my own, some further reading into the new uh, areas, which is not necessarily the worst thing in the world to say, but I made the mistake of interrupting the interviewer. He mentioned that this contract is X dollars an hour. He was still talking and I interrupted him. Now, it's been a year since that conversation, but I keep killing myself over what he would have said had I just let him finish that paragraph of whatever he was saying. You know, he might have given a concession of some sort. I don't know, because I interrupted it and I, for I forever destroyed whatever he was going to say. But I learned my lesson. I had another job interview today over Zoom, and I learned a little life hack to use when you're tempted to interrupt somebody. So you got an opponent who's talking. He's going on and on and on and on, right? Oh my God, are you staying safe during COVID-19, right? We got to teach remotely. Now, how are you going to handle students who handle the remote work, right? Your pay has been cut. On and on and on and on. Now, I've learned to treat it like he's handing you cards. And the reason for that is that the longer you can get his, him to talk, or your opponent, whether you're buying a car at a job interview, whether you're asking a girl out on a first date and she's rambling about uh, what she doesn't like about you, if you can let those people talk on and on and on and on, the more cards they hand you, the more ammunition you have to form some kind of a hand, right? So, so you let your interviewer talk for 30 minutes, and um, soon enough, this is a game of Pinochle, by the way. Let's see if we scored a Pinochle in here. Uh, you need a Jack of Diamonds and a, a Queen of Hearts. The longer you let your opponent talk, right, the more melds you can form, right? Uh, well, that's why you got to let your opponent keep talking, right? Because we still here. There's a, there's a marriage right there, right? That's exactly why you want your opponent to keep talking, right? The more cards he keeps handing you, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, my my, my, my elderly grandparents have COVID-19, right? I, you won't be seeing me for two months now, right? Blah, 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 right? I don't have toilet paper. I apologize if I smell bad. I have no toilet paper at home. Blah, 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 right? And the longer you get up to blah, the more melds you can form, right? The longer you get that car salesman to to blah, the more he, he wears out and the more you know about him, right? If he if he mentions any religions or po political views, you can agree with those and be on the same page as him and potentially get a better deal out of it, right? And so I use that strategy today, I think to my big benefit. Now, another strategy I love to use is to pretend that every time I open my mouth, I have to pay something, right? So I pretend that I have a stack of silver coins, and every time I want to open my mouth, I have to give up one of those coins. Now, that doesn't mean I should never open my mouth, but I got to think there's a cost to opening my mouth, and is the next thing I'm going to say really that important, or if it can wait, right? There's nothing wrong with talking about um, what I did during the pandemic to learn about new uh, areas of research, but there's a good time and a place for that, right? Um, especially when your opponent is handing you cards that you can form melts to uh, to cash in, right? There's a time and a place to, to bring up those things, right? There is a good time and a place even to bring up personal matters in the workplace, right? Uh, just just don't interrupt uh, when, when somebody's handing you cards that you can use. And more importantly, don't hand cards to other people to use against you. Thanks for watching.